Welcome back to Accessible Gourmet. Today we're making Baja fish tacos. There's this little place in Noda, Charlotte called Cabo Fish Taco that I used to go to when I lived there briefly. And their fish tacos were really to die for, so I figured I'd try to make them. So I have one pound of mahi-mahi. If you can't find mahi-mahi, you can definitely use cod, or whatever white, firm flesh fish that you prefer. And we're removing the skin off of our fillets because we don't need that for frying. And I found the easiest way to remove the skin, I actually YouTubed it, um, there are a lot of really helpful videos out there, is to get under there, loosen one corner of the skin, put your knife at an angle, grab that loosened corner of skin, and shake the skin back and forth. You're not actually moving the knife, you're wiggling the skin so that the knife slides through and um, removes that skin cleanly without removing too much of the flesh of the fish. So that's what I'm doing here. We also want to remove that um, dark red bloodline because that does tend to be fishier and no one really wants a fishy bite in their fish tacos. Now that all the skin is removed and all that dark bloodline is removed, I'm just cutting these into one inch by three inch strips. We are gonna brine this in a saltwater brine. This just ensures that the fish stays um, moist as you fry it and it firms up the fish so you get a super flaky, delicious bite. So that's just gonna sit in there while we chop up a third of cabbage. I have a combination of red and green cabbage just because I like the color combination. If you only have one color, that's perfectly fine. So we're just gonna chop this into a fine shred. I make it a little extra because my partner just likes to eat this on its own. So it's always good to have a little extra. We also need a quarter of a red onion, also finely sliced, as thin as possible. If you have a mandolin, you can do this on a mandolin as well. And this can go into the same bowl as our um, cabbage. Just pop that in there and give it a little mix. We're also gonna need a half of jalapeno. I am just um, taking the seeds and ribs out because that's where all the heat lives. I don't want this slaw to be super spicy since we are doing a chipotle crema and that's going to add a little heat. Um, so yeah, I'm just removing the ribs and the seeds, finally chopping this as well into little strips, and I'm just going to incorporate in that with the onions and the cabbage. Now to turn this into an actual slaw, I have a half of a teaspoon of dried oregano. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt. We also need a half of a cup of white vinegar, and three quarters of a cup of cold water and a little pepper. Just mix this all together and set this aside and let it um, marinate while we get the rest of our stuff ready. Now for our chipotle crema, I have a half of a cup of mayonnaise, one half of a ripe avocado, two cloves of garlic, two chipotle peppers, and then one tablespoon of that adobo sauce that it was sitting in, in the can. And we're just, oh, also lime juice. I'm just using the juice of one lime in here as well. Just squeeze that lime in there. And if you have a blender, this is very helpful. You can do this in a food processor as well. Just mix that up until it's not the loveliest color, but it is delicious. Then we're gonna take out our fish from the brine and dry this off as much as we can. We want it as dry as possible so that our batter sticks to it. Now for our fish batter, I have one cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of salt, a little black pepper, give this a little whisk before we add in one and a quarter of a cup of beer. Whatever beer is fine, I'm using Sephora because that's what I had in my fridge. And we're just going to mix this up into a nice, it's going to be thin, it's not going to be like a pancake batter. Just until all of that flour absorbs the liquid and we have a nice little fish fry batter. I've heated up oil to 350 on the stove. I find it easier to fry and wok because you use less oil. And we're just going to pop in our beer battered fish and let these cook until they're deep golden brown.
Once they're nice and golden, we're going to take them out and put them on a paper towel lined plate or sheet and salt them immediately because you want it to you want to salt your fried food while it's hot so the salt takes. If you wait till it cools down, it's going to fall right off and you're not going to get any of that flavor from the salt on your fried food. So I'm just continuing to fry my fish and pulling it out once it's cold and brown and salting it. Now let's assemble. I've heated up some corn tortillas over the stovetop in a dry pan, putting down a little bit of our chipotle crema. This is kind of thick, so if you find it's too thick, you can loosen it with a little bit more lime juice or some mayonnaise, but I don't mind it, uh, this consistency. Then we're going to place a beautifully fried piece of fish on top of the crema, top this with our tangy sour cabbage slaw add a little more crema on the top squeeze a little lime juice and of course we have to garnish with some cilantro Let's try these out. I hope they taste the way I'm thinking in my head they will. The fish is fried perfectly. The fish is so firm. You get that crunchy beer batter on the outside. The crema is spicy and rich. While well, you, you get that freshness of that tangy slaw and lime juice and cilantro on top. This is everything I was hoping it would turn out to be. But there it is, my version of Baja fish tacos. They are a pleasure to eat and a pleasure to make, and I hope you try to make them. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. If you loved it, subscribe and click the notification bell because I put out new videos every Thursday. Until next time, happy cooking.